everybody. Welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to play with paper. We are going to do another scraps to embellishments where we take our scrappy bits and we use, I use die, stamps, sometimes I just use the paper itself, scissors, whatever it may be, and we create some type of embellishment so that we could use them on our journals, cards, layouts, whatever you would like. If that's something you would like to do, I do that with my friends over on Ginger's Corner Facebook group and we swap them with each other. So if you'd like to sign up for that, we have swaps in Canada, in Europe, Australia. Now I know I have a lot of Australia viewers, but we don't have that many swappers. So come and join us for sure. You do not have to pay international swapping, um, postage, swapping postage, postage for swapping. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. <laughs> because wonderful, wonderful um, individuals have offered in your area, in Australia, in parts of Europe, and in Canada to be captains. And so then you're not paying international unless you choose to. Now you're welcome to, and that's fine. We make that work too. But with that said, Let's, let's have some fun. Come join us for sure. It's a beautiful community. So many talented people. Um, this week, the theme is woodland animals. So anything that you, any animal you would find in the forest is fair game, fox, let's see, rabbits, deer, bear. Um, I'm doing a, a skunk, uh, hedgehogs. All of those are totally acceptable. We're not sticklers. Just any creature, even birds. I mean, you find birds in the um, forest as well. So I hope everyone has fun with that theme. Um, I used a global die again. Now the last one was no longer available. I'll look this one up. If it's available, I will put it in the description so you can click on it and um, shop to your little heart's desire. They are affordable. Um, and let's just have some fun. So I used some brown scraps. That's why I have different colors, tree trunks. And we're just gonna put one together. I like to put one together and hang out with y'all. First, we um, are going to put together the tail. I like to use my tweezers and my tacky glue and my fine tip applicator. All these things, all of them, are in my Amazon link. And when you guys buy through my link, um, then it helps pay for the postage for the blessing boxes, for sure. So I hope you guys are liking the themes. I am so excited. Um, for next year's themes, you know, we don't have many swaps left because we don't do swaps in December. Um, a couple reasons. One, we do the Secret Santa. You guys are um, going to be signing up for that. And two, postage, right? Like the post office is bad enough as it is and it does not get, is that the right way? I think I have that backwards. Let me look at this for a second. Oh, I got squirreled. Nope. Yeah, it does go this way. Okay. Um, so postage and, you know, we all have family and we're busy. So I have learned over the three, oh, is it four years? Maybe it's four years that we've been um, swapping. December's just not a good month, but we have lots of games and lots of giveaways coming up. And we are going to do another travel around the world version, uh, Christmas version. So that will be lots of fun. Um, come and join us over on Gender's Corner. I, I really encourage you to join us. You don't have to swap. You really don't. Um, you can just hang out, be inspired, and hopefully the bug will hit you. Because I will tell you, once you start swapping, you don't stop. It's so fun. It's fun. Um, and you guys see me use my swap embellishments all the time. I use at least, at least one layout. It is very rare that I don't. Okay, like all um, dies, you have to kind of dress it up. So I'm just gonna use my Sharpie to create the mouth, just like so, and it is embossed, so then you can see where it should go, okay? Um, let's straighten that out just a hair and we'll put his little nose on here. He has a little nose. I, you know, I like to see people put dyes together sometimes even before I purchase them. So I will tell you there is an order to do it. So don't be afraid to put one together. If it doesn't turn out, try it again. You'll learn. That's at least I learn. Well, I'm a slow learner, so maybe it takes me a couple times, but now for some reason, this dye did not come with the little ear parts. I it do, It's not on here. 
It's not because this is a hand, this is a hand, these are the eyes, this is the nose, these are leaves, that's the hair. I, I have no idea where the ear parts are supposed to be. And I even messaged the company and they said it didn't come with one. What? What do you mean it doesn't come with one? What is that? That's ridiculous. And this guy, it comes with both the tree st stump and you could do the body. So um, I decided not to put the bow tie on just because our theme is woodland animals, but you could do the bow tie if you want. We're gonna give him a little bit of eyes here. And then I just decided to use my gel pen and I colored the inside of his ear. I didn't like it without it. I almost left it, but I didn't like it. You could do it however you want. Just like so. Ta-da! I think I might be needing another gel pen. Okay, now we have to glue his little hands on here. Oh, before we do that, we need to highlight the stump. So the light brown, I took my brown tri-blend marker, um, and I always get questions. This is in the um, Amazon as well. These are my favorite markers. They really are amazing. They're a little pricey. I'm not gonna, not gonna fib about it, but they are absolutely awesome. I love them. They make it so easy. If you're like me and you're color challenged, <laughs> like you can't color well, and you don't know how to blend, these are amazing because you get a light, a dark, and a medium. All right, so there's that. Then we need to, I like to use my tweezers to hold these little parts. We need to glue his hands, ta-da. We'll put one here. And I just kind of guesstimate. I'm gonna put another one here. His other, oops. Oh my goodness, I'm throwing things, trying to glue it to the desk. What's happening? Mayday, mayday. <laughs> Only me. It's every time I try to go fast. That's what happens. I should know better. What would you think I'd learn? What do they say about people who do the same thing over and over and get the same result? <laughs> That's me. All right, he's a little crooked. I'm like, oh, well, he's looking to the side. <laughs> point right <laughs> oh goodness okay then we gotta glue his little tail on <sighs> I thank goodness we're done right I'd probably mess something else <laughs> he's pretty cute though <laughs> oh these are really cute um to do as like bride and groom I'm not gonna do the florals I'm not gonna do any of that um, I'm just going to leave my little guy like that. I've chose not to do any of that, but how cute would this be like as a bride and a groom? You could do the body part and just give him the bow tie and give her the hair bow. So cute. I think that would be really cute. Lots of ways to use this dye. Um, hopefully they still have it. Like I said, I will put it in the description if I forget. And you see on there, because I'll put the dye used in this video. If it doesn't have a link or it doesn't say none, it means I forgot. So just comment in the video and I'll make sure to put it in there. Um, I hope you guys have a blessed day. Thanks for hanging out with me, even if I am a little crooked. <laughs> Be blessed. Bye-bye.